to my channel. I know today I look a little bit weird. Uh, that's because I have my face done and my brows done, but I do not have any eyes and lips done. So the reason why I look a little bit crazy, it's because I just got the new Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. And we're gonna be reviewing it today. We're gonna be testing it out, swatching, looking through everything and see what we think about the collection. Okay, so the packaging looks like this. It comes in a very beautiful box. It has a picture of Jacqueline in the back and a little message that she wrote for, you know, the person who buys it or whatever. Um, I love that every time I buy something from Morphe, like all of their palettes are always in like a bubble wrap and stuff just because it's very well packaged and protected. Um, sorry Jacqueline, I'm going to set you aside over here and we're going to pull it out from the bubble wrap and this is what the vault looks like. Um, it looks the same from the back and the front. It's a little case. It's like a cardboard case. This thing does pull out and you can pull out the the whole um, palette and everything. And it has the name of each and every palette right on the side. And then on the other side it says Morphe X Jaglin Hill. Which is very, very cute. Um, I'm going to be showing you all of the, the four, um, the four palettes. Um, but I'm not gonna be swatching all of them just because I don't have time for that and I know that swatches don't mean that they're gonna be the same on my eyes all I care about is whatever they're gonna look in my eyes I am gonna show you though what they look like inside so this is the ring the alarm palette um, this is what it looks like this one really reminds me of the first Jaclyn Hill palette, the colors in it just um, scream the first palette. Like, I don't know, it's the one that reminds me of her original palette the most. Um, then is this one that is called Bling Boss, which has a lot of uh, purples and mauve colors, which is really, really beautiful. Um, then we have the Armed and Gorgeous palette. This is the one with the greens and yellows and it's very, very beautiful. Love the colors here. I think we might be using this color, this um, palette today. i very excited. These colors are calling my name, the Ring the Alarm palette, especially this color right about here. Oh my God, this one. <gasps> We might be using this palette today. I'm not about. I'm not 100% sure about what my look. And the last palette that we have is Dark Magic, and this one is beautiful as well. But this one is very, very beautiful. This potion green color. Oh my God, love. I don't know, guys. I don't know what palette I want to use. I kind of want to use all of them, honestly. I think we're gonna go with the Armed and Gorgeous palette and we're gonna create a look with this. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in. Uh, I'm gonna use this first color called Axis um, and, and I'm gonna add that to my crease. I'm gonna add a little bit to it, to my Morphe M502 brush. And we're just gonna blend it in our crease. color in our crease and we have the pigmentation we desire I'm gonna go in with agent and secure and we're gonna mix these two orangey colors um, this is just a lighter version and this is more of a darker one with a little bit of more an orange tone and we're gonna with the same brush we're gonna add it to our crease and just make this a little bit darker and give it more of an orangey gradient hue Okay, 
now that we have the consistency desired with the orange I'm gonna go in with this uh, BH Cosmetics patching brush and we're gonna go in that top secret color that greeny color right over here and we're gonna add that all over the lid <music> a little bit of a fallout so I recommend you guys doing your um, shadow before doing your base <laughs> Morphe M502 without any product on or anything else on it just to blend in the green um, with the rest of the shades and as you guys could tell I don't know if you could see on camera once I start blending in the shade together like the green with the orange and the yellow like the green loses a lot of its pigment um, and starts getting a little patchy I am gonna go back in and intensify the color and do this a lot of times until I have everything blended in without any harsh lines and it looks as pigmented as I want and I'm not so worried about this green because I am gonna go over it with something else but just as a heads up this green is a little patchy I do really like the color I just feel like it's a little bit patchy and it could be better so I'm gonna do the same thing to this eye and I'll be right back <laughs> We have the intensified um, green all over the eyes this green is a little bit patchy so I am gonna go over it with the color coin and I'm gonna add this with my finger all over the lid look at that color <gasps> oh my gosh it's so beautiful wet this is just me pressing it in with my finger and this is so so beautiful <laughs> on the outer corners just to blend it in blend this color in together and make it a little bit smoky and darker on the outer edge of our eye and I'm gonna intensify that coin color a little bit more with my finger a little bold no it's a little bit crazy okay so I think this is what I'm about to leave it as um, for my eyes I'll leave, um, on the lid so now we're gonna go to our lower lash line and I am gonna use the elf no, not this one, elf smudger brush and we're gonna be doing the same thing with the oranges we're gonna miss mix all those colors the orange and the yellow and we're gonna pack it in our lower lash line <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with the same BH cosmetics brush and on the tip with the same color with the same brush that I applied the color on my lip I'm gonna use the tip and I am gonna drag that green color okay and with the same Morphe M502 brush we're gonna blend those in with no extra 
with no extra product on a brush, just a brush. We're gonna blend that in. I know this brush is a little big, but I like how it blends the colors in together, even in my lower lash line, and it doesn't hurt me like other brushes. Okay, now that we have that done, I am gonna add a little bit, a little bit with my e.l.f. concealer brush. This little brush, I'm gonna add a little bit of the color VIP to my inner corners. We're gonna add that to our inner corners and we're gonna add that to our um, brow bone. So now that we have that there, I think that's about it of what I'm gonna do for the eyes. So I'm gonna go in and finish the eyes by adding some um, mascara and I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight. And I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so this is the completed look. Um, I ended up adding just a little bit of um, mascara. I added a little bit of highlight. I am using the Milani um, stellar, stellar Lights uh, Highlighting Palette and I ended up using the When A Wild Liquid Katsu in Nudie Patootie and a little bit of this Elf Lip, Elf lip Gloss in Scott. Um, and yeah, that's what I have on my lips and that's what I have on the rest of my face and this is the completed look. What do we think? It's a little bit crazy, it's a little bit loud. The green that I uh, used was a little bit patchy um, in the beginning all over the lid, but it wasn't a big deal because I ended up adding that other color on the center of my lid. But honestly, these shadows, I feel like they perform as good as her other palette uh, that she has with Morphe, the... I don't know, I think it's just called the palette or the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm not 100% sure. I have it somewhere in my um, palette drawer and stuff. Uh, but I use that palette a lot and I really, really like it. Um, let me know if you guys want to see me do like another look with like the other palettes if you guys want me to do one look per palette or something like that. Um, I think these shadows are great. Um, they retail for about $15 each palette but if you buy the whole collection, the vault, vault or the vault, um, it's about $49. So you save about $11 if you buy the bundle of four and if you only want one palette, it's about $15. Um, it's 10 shades per palette, so I don't know, what is that? It's like a dollar fifty, right? Yeah, like a dollar fifty per shadow. It's really good. You guys are not gonna go through this palette that quick. Um, I think you guys should really try them out. They're super affordable, super good. I like the look that I came up with. Um, I love the look. There's not much I have to say, but I really, really am happy about Jaclyn coming out with more colors, more shades. I will be using them soon. Let me know if you guys want to see any tutorials on any certain palette or if you want me to do one per palette. Um, the palette that I used today was the Armed and Gorgeous, and I really, really like it. So I hope you guys liked the video today, and I hope you guys come back um, to my channel. With that being said, yeah. That's all for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the look. And comment down below your favorite eyeshadow palette from the whole collection. Um, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.